Hello everybody, this is Mateo from ProFlamenco. Welcome to my class. Uh, today I would like to show you a little bit uh, of uh, Solares. Solares is one of the flamenco styles, one of the flamenco form. Uh, in Spanish, flamenco palos, flamenco toques. Uh, because in flamenco there are many, many styles, there are many, many forms which have their own uh, characteristic, like the structure, the rhythm, the melody, the harmony, etc, etc. So if you want to uh, find out a little bit more about Solaris, you can find it in the internet for sure. But today, uh, in today's lesson, we will mainly focus uh, on understanding the compass of the Solaris, so the rhythmical cycle, the rhythmical pattern uh, with the proper accents and we will focus also uh, and I will show you how to play uh, the basic Solaris on the flamenco guitar. So if you are ready, take your guitar and continue with me. Let's start. Okay, so in this lesson I would like to uh, show you how to understand the compass, so the rhythmical pattern in Solaris, and later on I would like to show you how to play it on the flamenco guitar. So the compass in flamenco is actually a repeated pattern, a repeated cycle of beats. So in Solaris, for example, we have 12 beats and each uh, cycle of these 12 beats is compass and we repeat it all the time. So, uh, let's start with the clapping and with the proper accentation. In Solares we have 12 beats and we, act, we make the accent on the 3rd beat, 6th beat, 8th beat, 10th beat and 12th beat, okay? So, we can make, we can uh, count it aloud and we can make the proper accent with our foot. Yeah, so remember 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12. So let's start. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the cycle that I all the time repeat. So this is the compass. It has 12 beats. And one more time. We have the accents on 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12. You can stop the video, think about it and uh, start to repeat the cycle, uh, counting aloud and making the accent on 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12, for example, with your foot, yeah? And you can also make an accent on your clapping, yeah, on these beats. So you can repeat it one more time with me, okay? So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the basic way how to understand the compass in Solaris. So let's move on to the flamenco guitar. Okay, so I will now play the part that we learned today in today's lesson and I will count uh, allowed uh, the compass of Solaris. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
So it sounds like this. So now let's focus on the guitar and how to play it, okay? So first of all, we start to play this compass with the rhythmical strumming pattern, yeah? With our right hand. So basically we, we, we need uh, three chords. F major seven, C major, and also E major, okay? So now I will show you how to play this in really, really slow tempo, okay? So we start with the strumming pattern in our right hand and with, uh, we strum it with our index finger, okay? So it sounds like this. So we start with the downstroke and then upstroke and we repeat this, yeah? So and then and then and the end of the phrase is six string with the thumb. First string with your index finger, four, fourth string with the thumb, first string with the thumb, second string with the thumb, and first string with the index finger. So, so once again, So I repeat very slowly the whole phrase. You can also make this ending phrase with the thumb, angular finger on the first string and then thumb on the fourth string and then index finger, middle finger and angular finger. So in this way. So I hope the technical pattern is clear. Now I will play it also slowly but with a counting aloud and with making the proper accent, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you see, I play the same compass as I explained, the same rhythmical pattern as I explained you with clapping and with the same accent. So we put the accent on 3, 6, uh, 8, 10 and 12. It is really, really important. Yeah. So once again, one. I hope that's clear. So this is the simple, the simplest way to play this rhythmical pattern of Solares. And we can also add a four finger rasgado. So it will sound like this. So we play it with our uh, four fingers. So pinky finger, angular finger, middle finger, index finger. So uh, 
if you don't know how to do the proper rasgado, then you can skip it. I will explain it in, a, in some different lesson only about the technique, only about rasgado. So you can, at the beginning, you can play only, only this pattern. But, but for those of you who already know how to play uh, the rasgado in a proper way, I just remind four fingers. So every finger equally after another, yeah? So this sounds like this. Now with counting aloud and with making the proper accents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So at the end of this lesson, I would like to uh, show you uh, how to play the Yamada. So a Yamada in flamenco is a kind of bridge, for example, musical bridge, a bridge between a strumming pattern of the flamenco guitar and the falsetta on the guitar, or for example, a, a bridge between a strumming uh, of the compass and for example, the entrance of a dancer or, or entrance of, uh, of a vocalist, of a singer, yeah? So, uh, basically, uh, this is the simplest way to play the Yamada in Solares. We will focus uh, on the right hand uh, on the ar rapid arpeggio with the thumb starting from the fourth string, so from the D string, and the left hand will be very, very simple. So, everything in slow uh, tempo, okay? This is the first half of the compass, once again, first half of the Yamada. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the other half, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, at the ending, we make this tapping, so called golpe in Spanish. So we make the tapping with our angular finger on the soundboard here, near the bridge. So 11, 12, 11, 12. You can make this tapping a little bit with flesh and a little bit with the nail. So you can, you have to experiment and feel it, yeah? So 11, 12, 11, 12. So once again, the second half of the Yamada, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So once again, the whole Yamada in really slow tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay, once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I hope that everything, everything is clear now and now you can practice with me everything what we learned together in today's lesson we will practice very, very slowly. So first of all, the strumming pattern, then for example, the strumming pattern with uh, added four finger rasgado and at the end, the Yamada. And we can repeat this whole form of the Solaris like two or three times. So let's start. 10, 11, 12, one, Bye.
So basically, this should sound like this. So this pattern, this Solaris phrase should sound like this and you should practice like this, remembering about the proper accent. So on three, six, eight, 10 and 12 and uh, counting aloud. And of course, as I said in the beginning, you can add your foot to make the accent on the 3, 6, 8, 10 and 12. And if you practice like this in a few days, you will master the Solaris Compass perfectly. Okay, so that's it. I hope everything is clear. Congratulations, well done. Great job, you just learned the, the, the first Palo, uh, the first Flamenco Palo, uh, Solares. Uh, it is a great form to start the adventure with the Flamenco guitar, so well done. Uh, if you have any questions to me, uh, please ask in the comment, I will answer all of them. Uh, I would like to thank you for your presence, thank you for watching. If you are interested in more Flamenco guitar lessons, please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting two times a week uh, and also I invite you to follow my social media, all links you can find in the description below. So once again, thank you and we see in the next lesson. Goodbye.